Today I was doing some YouTube research and I noticed something that happened. Anytime anyone has a nice car, nice house, and they talk about Forex and the benefits of Forex, the channel literally blows up. Also, day trading. And one of the things that I begin to see is that people know that Forex and day trading exist and it's a way to make money. There are some really successful Forex traders and there are some really successful day traders, but the average person fails at day trading in Forex. And you'll hear these stories like my brother put $30 in the market, made a hundred thousand. And consistently I am seeing this and it's at odds at the stuff that I teach because what I talk about is hard work. Building a business, serving company, customers, and going to work. And I'm seeing all of this rent-seeking behavior. And it, it got me thinking, it's very, very uh, endemic in the millennial generation because I frequently see Instagram posts, I see Facebook posts. I, 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 ain't, I ain't really built to work no job. Yet these people have no remarkable talents, nothing special about them, but they do not want to work a regular job. And what I feel is that this is going to amplify. I don't think that this is just a one-time thing or just a trend we're going through. This is going to become a consistent movement of people who will turn their nose up at working. One of my consulting clients during the Rona had a job in, you know, because well, essentially we were having our conversation. I said, I don't know how people are going to behave during the Rona, but people behave the same way they did before the Rona. Essentially, he had set up like 20 interviews and only 10 people showed up. And there is this antithesis, this agony against work. It is becoming very, very bad. It is becoming because I don't know what happened. You know, I'll have to do a little bit more thinking. I, I would have to look at it a little bit more, but essentially people don't want to work. It's just like, cause you know, for those of you who have taken my courses and actually did the work and got results, that's the path. But we have a whole segment of society that is like, I ain't working. If I ain't making like, but jillions of dollars, if I'm not making a lot of money, I ain't doing it. I would rather be poor living up here with my mom and dad than to work some job. And this has become an anthem because I was looking, this one girl, she did like $30,000 in three hours. But one of the things is I noticed that her currency account was very big. It was 94,000. That was the balance of her currency account. So she was working with 94,000. And these things are important when you're talking about Forex because that would be considered a large account. A lot of Forex traders are only working with five or 10,000 bucks. So, you know, when you are working with 94%, $94,000 and you, you're using one to 5% of your account, you just have more money to work with. And I, I just look at this whole thing and it's got me kind of baffled. And I think it's part of the culture that I want to get money, I want to secure the bag, but I ain't trying to work. There's this guy who was honest and said it took him five years to learn how to Forex trade. His name is Swaggy C. He's got a YouTube channel and it's literally blowing up. And the thing is that he talks about everything but Forex. He talks about his lifestyle. He talks about the cars he has. He talks about living in this $19,000 per month apartment but he never actually, and they, they all do it, Omni and, the, Omni and the Hellcat. I got this money, but they never break it down that I do A, B, C, E. They never, never break it down because it, it, it's crazy. And I know Swagger C has a Forex Trading Academy. And then there's the Wall Street Trapper who I actually like. He has a lot of energy. And it's a talking about buying stocks and making money with stocks. And we, we have a whole segment of society that is just not going to do the things that I espouse. 
build a business, serve customers, make money. You're just not gonna do it. I don't care how broke they are. I don't care how poor they are. They're just simply not gonna do it because they know <clears throat> if they can get their Forex or their day trading or their internet scam thing going that they can make a lot of money and not work that hard. And it's just, this problem is just gonna get bigger. It's not gonna get less. There's just gonna be more of it as we go down there because I'm looking at some of these YouTube ads and I'm seeing ads from people I've never seen ads from before. And it's always the same, simple, easy. You can make big money. And that, from my experience, I just have not seen that. I've not experienced that. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. I don't understand it, but actually I do understand it. Part of it is human desire, human <clears throat> culture and people want to take the path of least resistance. Uh, when I put up the video talking about stop freaking out about your credit score, I had a few people dissent because they're addicted to credit. They cannot conceive building a business, generating enough cash flow to defund their deals. They simply cannot conceive it, even though I am showing them how to do it. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. It's like, I'm gonna take these shortcuts. I'm going to keep, um, and like uh, one person who's been disavowed from the channel, essentially everyone's looking for shortcuts, quick paths and easy profits. That's what people are looking for. And part of this is my age. And part of this is the generation that I grew up in, which was based upon hard work, merit and effort. And that works for me. But there is a whole group of kids, I'm gonna say 18 to about 35, you, you cannot reach them with this message. They don't wanna do it, they're not gonna do it, and as long as they can live by parents or some help, even though they're not living a great lifestyle, that's what they're gonna do versus buckling down and working hard. And it's kind of tragic because <clears throat> this week I'm launching two new courses for Savage Finance. It's gonna be how to set up your single member LLC and, and prep it for business credit and to um, turn that into a holding company later on. And then there's another course, how to make $5,000 a month while you keep your job. And I know that I'm gonna have the pushback because if I was to just take a year and dive deep into Forex and come out with some Forex products, I would make a lot of money because the seductive nature of Forex and day trading is you could do this from the comfort of home. You don't have to serve anybody. It's just make money, put profits in your pocket. And that is a selfish culture to a degree. And it's also something that you're not going to build quote legacies with. I saw one woman, she was teaching her son how to day trade. I think it was day trade of Forex, you know, baby pips and all this other stuff. And I'm just looking at the activity in that segment that so many people just don't want to build a business. It's like, man, I don't wanna do that. Nah, I wanna do this, I wanna day trade. I want to do Forex. I even had people, it's like, Forex is great. You should try it. And I'm just sitting there like, folks don't have no clue how much money I make. No clue. Cause I'm like, you speaking to me is we're on the same level. I make enough money to buy a Porsche every month. Um, ain't the same levels, but because everyone is addicted to easy credit, other people's money, and Forex and day trading that they cannot conceive. And one of the things I wanna get through you is the conception of an idea is massively important. So if you are, your mental space is matriculated on Forex or day trading and some stuff, that's gonna occupy a lot of your brain. It's gonna occupy a big part of your brain. And you're not going to do what you need to do to build a business. I've seen it. Like uh, Swaggy C, he's got his show, he's an LNA, and they're, they're talking about this stuff. And I get it, like Omni and the Hellcat, you know, I'm going to buy a hurricane today. 
you know, people like to see that kind of success. They like to see that type of physical prowess. And honestly, I don't think Omni would ever have to sit down and tell his audience exactly how he made his money. They don't really care because they live vicariously through. It's like, yeah, what would it be like to have so much money in the bank that I can go out and buy a new car whenever I wanted to, buy a new house whenever I wanted to. And th that dream, that desire of so much money, I can do whatever I want without thinking about it because it's so much money. And I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again, even millionaires need budgets. If Omni and the Hellcat had talked to someone like me, the FBI wouldn't have been able to seize the money because they would have been sheltered, they would have been protected. He's got sons. I would have put trust and money in those things and just managed it and they wouldn't have been able to touch it. But because we're in this flex culture, because Omni, uh, someone said in the comments, you know, he's a likable guy, but he's really immature. And he didn't know what to do with that kind of money. And also, this is one of the things that you should learn. When you give someone who isn't mentally prepared for that kind of money, I think it was like $50 million, they're gonna lose it. They're not gonna grow it. They're not gonna build anything with it. They're gonna lose it because they are not mentally prepared. Like if I won the lottery, if I played the lottery and you know after taxes and stuff, I got like 100 million, I know exactly what I would do. It. I would take all 100 million and put it into a revenue producing real estate. I would buy me some apartment complexes because then I would take that 100 million and then I would turn it into a systematic cash flow system because like, Essentially, if I bought $100 million worth of apartment complexes, we're talking about monthly income of $80,000 to $90,000 a, a month. $90,000, so that's like one point something million per year, as long as I own those apartment complexes. So at some point, I'm going to get my $100 million back, get a profit in the return to the nice yield. but. We don't have people who speak in those in that, those terms because it's all about flex culture. It's all about securing the bag. It's all about getting this so much money, buying the block, um, taking care of family. You know, here's a hundred thousand dollars for you, mom. Here's a hundred thousand dollars for you, baby Joe. Just being the man, and there, there's no rational thought process to the money. It's just like, I want to secure the bag, get so much money that I can act a fool and do whatever I want and there will always be money in the bank. And there are people who have that lifestyle. There are people who literally could spend a million dollars a day and they will never run out of money. But they didn't make that money. They're trust fund babies. Someone else a long time ago made that money and gave them access to a trust fund. So it's, it, it, it's crazy because what I want you guys to do and understand is you don't have to live the way that you're living. You don't, but you know, the do more principle, and this is something, because essentially what I'm getting ready to do, and it's gonna be a shift. I'm gonna start posting more of content on Savage Finance because Savage Finance is growing. And regardless of what I do on this channel, it just goes so far and it just dies. I've had like video pop last week. I only have like 8,000 subscribers and the video's got 12, 14,000 views. It did that in like three days. So I'm going to start doing the money show over there. I'm gonna start, cause I will continue to post here. I will continue to post these introspective uh, pieces of content off the top of my head and I will. But the goal is to shift everything over to Savage Finance because I, that's what's growing and that's, you know, Savage Finance could potentially be at 50, 60,000 60, subscribers at the end of the year. Whereas like I am at 96, 100 subscribers and more than likely the way that this channel is growing, I will not get to 100,000 this time next year. You know, it, it, it's funny because you know how YouTube is set up, but I've learned my lessons and also I'm starting new YouTube channels.
life on the tube and I'm re reconstitutionalizing re the old the first disruptive mail I changed the name the channel is monetized so I, my big fear was are they, you know once I you know expose all these videos are people gonna start like you know they're gonna go through it and start demonetizing the channel like they did with the second disruptive mail I don't think that's gonna happen because those videos are not being pushed so the new content will be YouTube friendly and I've, I've also got some stuff that's going on because I'm working on my YouTube workflow because you know essentially if you know what you're doing you can make a livable income off of YouTube in a year if you know what you're doing if you have help if you are willing to spend money you can get there within 12 to 18 months and it's it's a great lifestyle and I feel that YouTube's gonna grow for another 10 years but one of the things that I want you guys to understand is my level of frustration with what the culture wants I have a friend and he had some very good advice he says sell what people are buying in Swaggy C Omni and the Hellcat these forex channels they're selling what people are buying this is what people want so I'm going to not go totally in that direction but I'm getting ready to spice up the content a little bit and also go into because it still will be practically sound it will be sound financial advice because I to my editors I got a video for the YouTube channel and to my editors I got a video for life in black and white and then you know I've got the content that will be dropping on Savage Finance so I've got a plan here um, call it the Cameron Network because before the end of the year there will be another channel it's just I got to go ahead and get the content strategy tight for life on the tube and I got to get the content strategy tight for life in black and white and those channels names may change a little bit I don't know but this is just me sitting here speaking to the camera just off the top of my head because part of me understands the desire but part of me knows the danger because realistically your chances of being successful with forex are not the odds are not in your favor and you realistically the chance of you being successful with day trading the odds are not in your favor but this is what people want to do because if you were to sit down if you were to go below and get the free course 30 days to 2500 and do the work and get you a side hustle that would be almost assured money but people are not looking for that they're looking for the fantasy. They're looking for the dream. They're looking for the flex up. Cause I saw another video about this chick who did Forex. It's like, thanks Forex. Bought me this big house, got me a Range Rover. My fiance, he has a Lambo. And I should say that a lot of the Forex stuff, like the Wall Street Trapper, he has more of a practical methodology because he's operating on stock market fundamentals so he's not really bad but a lot of the forex people they're just mentioning certain things baby pips pay the bills and i think it's just going to mislead some people and a lot of people are going to waste a lot of time and money that's what i know is going to happen they're going to waste a lot of time and money and they're not going to build anything and they're not going to create anything because they're chasing these shiny objects and rainbows and it, it's, it's kind of crazy when you think about it because I know that hardware works because to the person that was disavowed he actually had a problem with working hard pulling yourself up by the booster I had a problem with it don't I don't want to do that I, I just don't want to do that and this is where so many people are and a big issue and a big situation with this is you got to understand where you are what you're doing and what you can get because I think one of the channels I'm gonna start talking about is gonna be talking about the esoteric because I'm a big believer in that and I don't think people are ready for it here and I'm not going to, you know, like, like I said, Savage Finance. I like the vibe. I like where it's going. I have plenty of content for that channel. 
and also with the reconstituted disruptive male plenty of content for that channel and the youtube channel plenty of helpful content with that channel and then i, I sit here and i think about the esoteric and how powerful that is but a lot of people are not ready for that so we will see but one of the things i want you to understand is you can have whatever you want in life if you're willing to pay the price that is my advice to you if you're willing to pay the price you can have whatever you want so hopefully let me know what you thought of this video let me know what you thought of the rent seeking nation oh yeah we're also on the verge of socialism this pandemic has revealed that America has an appetite for socialism, an appetite for staying at home and collecting a check. That's not who we are as a country, in my opinion, but that is who we have become and we're becoming that country. Where people want to sit at home and collect a check. I feel that this is why the Democrats are going to win the Senate and they're going to win the presidency because we can have the mother of all stimulus check proposals dropping I, I actually see that happening because people just don't want to work they just don't want to work all right so what i want you to do is go below get 30 days to 2500 get the hustler's mindset pimping your mind for success also sign up for the oxygen banking app because i want you to take the money that you're making from your 30 days to 2500 pursuit and put it and segment it in an oxygen account so once you hit that referral link, I get 25 bucks, you get 25 bucks. And after you fund your account to the tune of 200 bucks and use the account, the debit card five times, and there's cash back on the debit card. You can get 7% at Walmart, 5% for gas. So there is an additional benefit for using that debit card. And all of the places that you can get the cash back are in the app.